let's talk more on interpolation and especially when our interpolation will fail or interpolation failure and of course interpolation you will probably think that you may apply it to any process actually no uh, you must always analyze the process and even though you think it's linear you always be sure that the experimental data fits that model okay so once we get that you're probably going to fail uh, especially let's say adiabatic processes, isobaric, all these type of processes, especially polytropic processes, sometimes you think they are linear because, I don't know, maybe uh, it's twice pressure or twice volume and you think eh, it should be linear and now you then get the idea that it was not linear. Uh, when we fail to model that, we're going to call it uh, failure and it's important to know that if the experimental data show another value, then we're going to accept the experimental data as true and that model will not be acceptable, okay? So let me show you one example. You have, let's say, this point here and this other point right here and you want to know this x value. So you make the line, you don't know this red line, you, you, ha you don't have this data, but uh, let's say the process is like this. The actual process is red line and you don't know, you model it as in, uh, linear and then well, you have your x value that will be something like this you plug your x value to the model and you get your desired point which in this case will be something around 4 but you know that the, well we don't know but the actual model will or the reality will say that it's 2.5 so you have a huge error actually almost uh, 80% they will say and that's an interpolation failure we don't want that and actually you will see later that you shouldn't be doing this always this one is pretty, uh, pretty common especially in processes in which uh, have uh, oscillations and all that kind of let's say wave shaped behavior now Imagine you only have this data here and this data right here and you want to know the value on 3. So you make this straight line which of course does not model all the process at all. So you plug in this value here and then you will see that if you plug this value here you get 0.6 when in reality you will have 0.15. So you have 4 times that which is a lot of error and that's for interpolation guys we are going to see in the next video extrapolation which is pretty similar to interpolation actually but it is a little bit more tricky because you are going to be let's say guessing the behavior What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.